you guys welcome back to the channel it's kelly from house of virgo uh no i did not do a live stream tonight maybe we'll try to do it for next weekend um i think maybe we'll do it next thursday for the fourth of july weekend holiday but so yeah anyway let's get into your reading we're gonna take a look at obviously july you have like basically no time left in june so we'll see what the messages are if you want to get a personal text reading with me click the link in the description box below this video and uh yeah don't forget to click like and subscribe okay hand of cards taking a chance okay somebody does not feel like they are good enough or worthy enough for a relationship lacking some confidence going to take a chance to <clears throat> get into some kind of conversation in July, start talking. Someone's definitely interested. Um, if you've been waiting for a message or to hear from someone or a phone call, uh, it's definitely going to be coming in July. Okay. Um, but it's coming from a place, and I just feel like I need to say this, uh, a person who doesn't feel like it's coming from a place of frustration okay in regards to some relationship but yeah somebody's gonna take a take a chance here and reach out um i kind of feel like something somebody doesn't feel good enough to even be acknowledged they don't feel worthy enough but there there may be a conversation that takes place in regards to this Maybe it's you. You might have this conversation with someone. What's this? Oh, wavy hair. Okay. Um, so maybe it's you. You might have this conversation. You might take a risk and open up and tell someone um, that you're frustrated with, with a relationship. And um, you don't feel confident in it. You feel like somebody maybe sabotages a relationship for some reason. Um there might be some jealousy involved. Let's see what's going on here. Because I feel like at first, there is going to be conversation between you and another person. But I, I don't feel like anybody's going to really be revealing their cards, so to speak. Okay? Um, there may I do feel like someone feels frustrated. But at first, I don't feel like there, it's going to be kind of casual. I don't feel like it's going to come right out. But it may... Aquise <laughs> into a conversation about that energy of like maybe someone feels like this is something's not going to work out here. Let's take a look and see what's going on here. Okay. Knight of Wands. Oh, yeah. Hmm. There's that. So that's your energy, Virgo. And you're like, you have this fire energy about you I think you're going to open up you're either going to open up and talk to somebody about a relationship or you're going to somehow light a fire under somebody else's butt and get them to talk okay um, let me see here yeah this, this. so I was just looking at this little laptop that this chick has here and then I'm looking at the world so there's a conversation online is what I feel like is going to be happening oh yeah oh yeah not enough I don't know if it's you or and the other person or both of you feeling this way but there's definitely going to be talk definitely going to be talk somebody feels like they're being breadcrumbed there might be something here where there is another person whether it's you or somebody else where somebody is spreading themselves thin between you and someone else that you might you might be thinking that that's something that's going on for for instance there could be maybe you have a connection with another virgo it could also be with an aquarius a leo scorpio or a taurus there might be something showing up here for one of those signs <clears throat> in regards to you where there's a feeling of somebody's breadcrumbing, want to know why, want to know why someone's not fully investing or just giving the handouts, conversation about 
maybe someone's still stuck on their ex and it's just kind of using you as a placeholder or you're feeling that way. You could be feeling that way. It may not necessarily be true, but you might be feeling <clears throat> like somebody is given a little bit to you, uh, given a little bit to another person, taking turns. Hmm. This is way different than yesterday's reading. Oh yeah. This is way different. That I'm not so, this is not yesterday's reading at all. This is something completely different. Somebody else, okay? Yesterday's reading had a lot to do with a new romance, new budding, blooming romance of something. There's a conversation that's happening now with somebody else in July, or starting now through July, where it's like, you know what? I'm walking away and closing the book on this. And I feel like it's you. And I feel like somebody, the other person, maybe who you're talking to, might say to you, Virgo, that they feel the same way. So there's this, no one's investing. There's there's a little bit, just a little bit of like, just a, here, just this is all I can offer you right here. Yeah, it's an investment, but it's not a lot. Okay. Wow, Virgo. Let's see what's, what's going to happen with this conversation. Uh, somebody might say, like, you really enjoy the, the physical really enjoy the physical aspect of a relationship but definitely feeling a sense of like grief or loss or sadness about this six of pentacles this not really giving enough okay all right <clears throat> let's see how else is this okay so are you ending something or, or you're you're kind of like definitely weighing this out like this might not be something you're going to continue doing here with someone Virgo yeah look it looks like you are really at the end of the at the end of your rope I keep hearing and you've been spinning your wheels here but it looks like Maybe something you've been reading has given you some type of thought. I don't know what that means. Something you might have been reading. But you're coming in with that Queen of Wands energy. You're going to make a bold move here. It looks like you're... So I don't see breakup, you know. I do see a sense of feeling betrayed. And I do see this thing of like being really practical about the fact that you maybe need to surrender and let something go here okay now like i said another person might feel the same way they might be wondering or they might have a conversation in return and kind of say well i thought maybe you had somebody else i will say there is somebody else now this doesn't have to be like um an actual other person who is in the physical this could be someone who got their heart broken for however long ago and they never got over another person they never got over that person so that person that they never got over everyone they meet after they kind of measure them by does that make sense and I mean, I feel like I feel like there's uh, whoever this connection is that you have with this person, th they could never really give their all. They spread themselves thin because I feel like there might have been this Queen of Wands in the picture, masculine or feminine, fiery energy there. Yeah, I do, I do. <clears throat> and it looks to me like there's going to be a conversation about this. <clears throat> now you know virgo this person saying they they think that you never got over somebody else or that maybe you're you're still attached to someone else i feel like there's going to be some dialogue okay are you guys actually going to end something i'm not sure but i feel like there's going to be like some conversation about this coming out okay so I was going to ask about you in my mind, just getting ready to do that. 
So it looks like if you have a past person, way past person, like from however long ago, that's ended. You don't, that's ended. It looks like your energy, if you have a conversation with this person, it looks like on your side, there, you you know, maybe it was like a an ex, father, fake, father type, someone that maybe had a kid with or something along those lines. No, that's done. It looks like your conversation with this person coming from your standpoint is, no, you've healed that. You're past that. You've healed that. But I feel like whoever this person is, they haven't, they haven't gotten over someone. Now, yeah, they might be living their life just acting as if they have, but it feels like it, this, it's almost like, I don't know if there's ever enough space in their heart to fit you in alongside this other person. That's really what I feel. Yeah. And maybe you're coming to terms with that. Or the conversation's going to happen. Now, is this person, how's their response going to be? Because even with the not enough card, I do feel like this person feels like they can't fulfill that other person's shoes that either abandon them because we did have the five of cups or something or they're in, they're in grief they're still grieving over somebody i know people their very first love 30 40 years ago they still are not over that person still and you know it's a shame because whenever they try to get into another relationship even to this day they always talk about that person from that long ago yes and i feel like that's what this message is that whoever you're connection is with this person they have not gotten over and maybe you're going to have that conversation with them and tell them there's no room in in their heart for you and you know it, you are not their ex person you are not their ex they this person your person here could be an aries trying to not have to deal with their feelings or their emotions or their grief by just getting into another relationship okay so let's see what they're going to tell you in response about the, their past person hmm six of cups hmm it's true they might tell you that it's true okay they might tell you that they're just friends as well but there's a connection to the past here when they're when they were younger hmm there could have been a could have been a pregnancy or children involved with this person. They're still so are they still st oh, yeah they've been hiding it. Yep, see uh, that's how I feel. Yep, they were never they were apathetic towards love because they were always comparing any new love offer, always comparing to see if any of their other options or even you measured up. They might have even tried to make you like their ex, their past person, or maybe even had said things in regards to that. So, I mean, some of you maybe already went through all this in the conversation you already had. Will the truth come out? Perhaps if it didn't before. But for those of you who haven't had this conversation or wondering why someone hasn't committed, why they've been apathetic, towards a relationship why breadcrumbing i do think that um there will be there will be talk but i think it's going to come up in conversation okay and you might even be the one to take the risk and bring it up how is this person going to respond yeah they 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 may say yeah you know what it's true i've been i've been hiding it i've been keeping it to myself i thought this was my my person it didn't work out. I haven't gotten over it. I haven't been able to really love anybody else fully. I haven't been fully present with you or anyone else because I've been stuck on somebody. I haven't I haven't grieved it. I haven't gotten over it. Okay. So what's going to be the outcome for you guys? All right. The chariot. Oh, shit. I feel like this conversation needs to happen. Now that's the outcome, but you can always choose your outcome, right? You got free will. This conversation needs to happen because I feel like if this is someone that you have your heart set on, 
that, um, you know, yesterday's reading was somebody new. But if you have your heart set on this person, I feel like in order to get to the chariot and the hierophant here, this conversation needs to happen. In order to get past all this, it needs to be brought out. Yeah, because I do feel like you might be dealing with someone who doesn't even, they're hardly even aware that this is what's been going on with them. You know, especially if it's been a really long time, it's so ingrained at this point. It's almost like they might even ruminate or have been ruminating for years. And you got to have some self-respect and stand up for yourself as well. Like you can't, you know, you have to have this conversation because you just can't be with anybody who is not going to be fully present to your relationship, right? I mean, what what is that? Seriously, what is that? That that's that's breadcrumbing. That's that's casual. That's not healthy it's not healthy whether you want it to be healthy, whether you want it to be casual or not the conversation is going to happen and it needs to be either you can initiate it or they're going to initiate it i'm not exactly sure but i do feel you guys are going to be talking and maybe getting some closure or sorting some things out anything else here for virgo wow you got the lovers the nine of cups I feel like this person will tell you that they, you are their person and a wish come true for them, but they've been struggling. They're going to admit it. What you choose to do with that, look, here's even the Ten of Cups. I feel like this person really does want to be with you, but they can't. They got to get some, like, I don't know, shock therapy or something. They got to get some shock therapy or see a counselor or forgive at least. Let it go. Let let my people go. They need to let this person go and see you for who you are. See you, not their projected image of you, right? They're telling me projected image. Try to make, turn you into the one that hurt them, you know? I feel like they were hurt. I feel like they were abandoned or they were hurt. They got their heart broken by somebody else you know and and so you know again like i say you can choose to just say no <laughs> you can leave them where they're at in their victim place if you feel like they're just using you as a therapist because you got to be careful with that like you might have that conversation and then they open up to you and then they start using you as therapy you don't want that you don't want that virgo you're not trying to take on any projects here king of swords could be an air sign. You don't want a project. You need somebody who's, who's fully ready to jump in, right? I think you do, okay? Yeah, so I do feel like that, that is going to happen. I do feel like that this person is going to feel it. I feel like they feel like they're going to be able to talk to you. This, Of course, anybody, Vir Virgos always have that therapeutic thing. They give good advice, but mm, I don't know. I don't get a, like, there is a potential for it to go in a really good direction, but you might want to just kind of do the old Aikido move and have the, just redirect their energy towards a counselor or, you know, somewhere where they can find a way, or maybe some self-help books to deal with this. Yeah, because if, where I see someone's been holding on to a past person with the Six of Cups, that's real past because of the kids or however long They're, they might be holding reservations that one day they are going to get back together i mean you gotta you know ask are you asking yourself like do i have i invested a long time only to have that happen or them to heal use me to heal and then they move on to somebody else like what's your <laughs> looks like i was gonna say what's your advice is virgo it looks like don't be a fool Heed the warning. Get real with yourself. Get real with this person. Yep. Give it to them straight. This is the oddest message. I don't, you guys have been with me for a while. I don't think I've had a message like this ever. Somebody's stuck, on, they're stuck on their ex, but they do want you. They want to be with you. They don't want to lose you. And they're going to try not to lose you. 
they're going to try to, it feels like, just hope for the best. <laughs> they're just telling me hope for the best. I mean, you're definitely going to show this person how to deal with their issues. Yeah, I don't, I don't, there's no way to worry about that because Virgos are very on point. Virgos will just say, well, look, this is what you got to do. <laughs> you know, um, they're, they're this almost feels like it's a really bad timing kind of thing. Like two people fall in love, but one or both people, at least one is still stuck on a past person, whereas the other one has moved on from that and is looking forward to the future. And I feel like this person does look forward to a future with you, but they, they just they can't give you everything because... They still have this they still have this hope they still have these foolish foolish hopes i feel like this person never got closure from a past thing either they never sought it or they were never really given closure and i feel like they're suffering and you know hey my heart goes out to anybody who suffers but that's not your job to fix that you know um everybody needs closure i'm sick and tired of hearing Oh, well, you know, sometimes you have to give yourself your own closure. I mean, yeah, if somebody passes away, but I mean, if someone's still walking around on the planet and they're not giving closure, I would demand that. Demand that. Not just kind of be like, well, you know. No, this person is upright and walking, is alive and well. Now, if their person had passed, the death card is there. They still need to go get some help for that. Yes. And maybe you can be a friend, but you you got to be careful not to invest your heart any further because you will get hurt. That's a definite. Sometimes people just, you know, cling on to other, pre other people to help them um, get through their grief process. And then when they're healed, they release those people. They're called rebound type relationships. And I don't know what the situation is. Maybe you two came together, rebounded off of others, one one person healed but fell in love and wanted to keep the relationship the other person hasn't healed from the rebound yet there you go three of swords yeah these are some heavy duty messages this week what's going on must be that strawberry moon yep there's a heartbreak for sure and i feel like this person i'm not going to tell you what to do but i feel like this person is well aware to some degree that they got to do something because either there was a like a breakup, abandonment, uh, an argument that never got closure, two people walked away, something happened, heartbreaking situation, maybe divorce, and it's going to happen to them again. There's a lack of disingenuous behavior. That's what I feel. I'm sorry. A, there's a a lack of of genuine behavior. Sorry, I said that wrong. There is disingenuous behavior. What does that mean? Yeah, somebody tells you they love you, but they're not acting like they love you, you know, or they're they're breadcrumbing or they are putting in minimal effort into a relationship. Um, minimal effort just to kind of keep you there, but not. It's enough to maybe keep you there. But Virgo, if that's if you're like, oh, wait a minute, hold on. I'm, a, I'm like, I'm losing weight on these breadcrumbs. And while that's great, my heart's hurting from that. No, I'm unhappy. I need a big old strawberry cheesecake. I need the like, I need the good stuff. I need the full buffet from this person. And you know what, Virgo? If that's your message here, you deserve that. And you can ask for that. And you could say that. I need your full attention. I need you to be present in this relationship. And if you just want to be friends, you can say to them, if you're okay with that, Virgo, fine. But if you're not okay with that, they're just, they're going to be the ones to lose out in the end. They will. But you, I feel like your message here is this, if this person is upright and walking and, it's, and you're trying to talk to them or um, you do try to talk to them and they're dismissive, they don't want to hear it, be done. 
be done with it because you did have new love yesterday <laughs> you do have a new beginning so maybe some of you are just in this place here where it's like you know what let me get some closure demand it demand it from someone because it's toxic to not give that closure it's so effing rude to not be honest and genuine and authentic and truthful and a lot of people too um you know oh people say what do they say no people would rather have the truth and be lied to because the truth hurts but at least when you get the truth you know now that you can start the process of grieving to get over it when you're lied to because the other person for their own selfish reasons they lie to you it's for their it's for them it's not for you and then oh it could go on for years virgo capricorn energy here aquarius all right let's see what your messages of love sorry hey the messages come out it's always random right the messages come out the way they come out and i can't do anything about that okay past life love is involved in this i'm telling you I mean, this past person could be present in their life today, or they could be, um, they could have passed on, or it could just be the energy that's still within your person that they have not gotten over. And you know, let me tell you, the four signs, which I just called out, that are the most likely ones to hold on forever and never, ever, ever, ever let go are the fixed signs they're the ones that will hold on the most leo taurus aquarius and scorpio they are the ones they're fixed they don't budge so if any of those four signs this is the one you're dealing with if you don't even if you don't know that they're still stuck on the next there might be it might be a, a time to start questioning what's going on what's going on okay because i'm feeling in this particular reading this reading now may or may not be for you but this reading has a lot to do with a past life love intense connection <clears throat> there i'm telling you the cards are speaking unavailable this person is unable to give you all and you know it you're are you feeling it virgo is that how you're feeling about this they're still in a relationship with a ghost. Someone that passed on, they haven't gotten past that. They're, maybe they're a widow. There's a lack of availability here. And it has to do with a past person. A past life lover. Love. 100%. There's that leap of faith. You've got to open up this can of worms, Virgo. Either for the first time or again. If you're still involved with this person and you're confused and you don't understand, you're trying to figure it out. Because I don't, I mean, unless the person is just, it's either they're stuck on somebody else or you're not the one for them. It's only one of those two things. Because when you're, when you're with, if you go back and listen to my reading yesterday, when you're, when you're with the one who's meant for you, there's never, ever, ever any doubt. If there's doubt, there's something or somebody else that they're still tied to. That could be an addiction. It could be drugs. It could be alcohol. It could be a past life love. It could be another, you know, another person, you know, or something that's, you're like almost um, like a, um, like a third party to a person, place, or a thing in their life. And it's time to bring it up out of this dusty old cobweb box and have this discussion when you and this person begin talking if you're yeah awaken them to this truth you know even if you um if you're not talking to this person at all and you're not seeking any kind of closure or answer then don't do anything if you're okay with that move on but if you're that one that's like what the hell's going on then this this is the conversation You need to awaken this person because like i said it feels like because of the six of cups and a past life thing it might have been a very long time that they don't even realize you know like when it gets in your subconscious 
that's directing all their moves, actions, thoughts, words, emotions. They may not even realize that they're doing this. And Virgo, you're intuitive. Oh, there's addiction. Yep. Could be this might not be a this might be a past life love affair with an addiction that's still running their life. Because even when you're involved in a relationship with someone that has an addiction, their first commitment and priority is to their addiction before you. That's how that works. It doesn't mean that they don't love you. It means that they can't love you until they get the love that they need from this addiction. That's how that works. It's science. It's already written in the books. Go look it up. It has nothing to do with who you are. It's just that their addiction... I don't know what to tell you, but it's got a whole monkey on their back. You, you can't get your needs met with someone who's trapped in an addiction. You just can't. Now, this is active. Okay? Active. If they're recovering and they're trying to get better and they're trying to deal with it, that's a different story. But I don't feel like that's what's going on here. This person might need, you know, when they say in like... AA or um, any kind of those 12-step programs that part of the steps that you go through is having a spiritual awakening or a spiritual experience. That's like um, when those people get clean, um, they come to God, like they humble, they come to their knees. They're like, oh, you know, when you go stand in front of the ocean, it's so vast and it could take you out with one wave. It's powerful. They're humbled by the power of it and they don't mess around with it. This person whatever's got them trapped or stuck you might just need to be the one to awaken them to it in some form or way through some kind of conversation all right or you you so here's your options right virgo you can do that as a friend and move on and wish them best wish them well and go find that new love with someone you know and and don't kick yourself i mean if you got involved with someone who had some kind of addiction or something that they were stuck on, there's no way you could have known it if, one, they didn't tell you, or two, they weren't aware of it, like that it was affecting their life. You, you, you just, you, you, you know, you take your chances when you get involved with somebody. You take your chances. Maybe you took your chance with someone here and time's passing by. You can't even blame yourself if you stayed because... The thing is, it, 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 you might not have been able to pinpoint what was exactly going on. People can hide that stuff really good or their emotions. But I feel like maybe you know something's off or something hasn't been right with someone. And I feel like July. Conversation. Spiritual lesson. So it says this person's in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. I feel like it's the other way around. Because this person been in denial. Yes. That that explains a lot for me why the not enough card showed up. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, Virgo, maybe this is just a friend. Could be. It could be just a friend or a family member. But I, I feel like it's a powerful message. I feel like you need to open your eyes to something here going on. All right, let's take a look and see what this person's Chinese sign is. Or yours, okay, year of the ox, year of the pig, year of the monkey, monkey on the back, year of the snake, year of the goat, year of the horse, year of the rabbit, one more, year of the tiger, wow. Wow, this was really powerful, this is a really powerful message, and I feel like it's, um, it's for somebody. I don't know who. It's, it may not be for all of you, but leave me a comment if you're like, no, this is for me. I know what I need to do. I get it. I've been on this, yes, or I've been trying to get clarity. You got, they'll be back. Expect to hear from them soon. So yeah, there will be a conversation. I'm telling you, you're going to hear from somebody. And as soon as you hear from them, have your little, how are you, how are you? And then if you need that clarity, demand it. Yes. Demand it. Luck is on your side. This is going to work out for you. For some of you, this might be very freeing. 
Very freeing. <laughs> Gold digger. Oh my gosh. They want your money or being used. Listen. I said in the very beginning, this person may have leaned on your love to help them cope. You got to judge it. You got to you got to be the one after you hear this take a little time and think about is it you know this is this what's going on with is this really what's happening here? Have I been just like um like a a pin cushion like a cushion for this person to fall back on? All right, get ready to be wined and dined. Well, you know what? Date night. Sorry about that. I didn't realize how loud that crashes. That's yesterday. If you have a date coming up, when you listen to that reading, and this is resonating too, you should go on a date. Go on a date with somebody. Yes, you need a night out. You do, especially if you're dealing with this kind of thing. Date night doesn't have to be romance. It could be with some friends or a family member or someone, you, you know, your, your soul tribe or one person. All right, patience. Just a few more months. Good things come to those who wait. So I feel that patience message here is um, <clears throat> don't get scared. Get prepared. That's what I'm hearing. Don't run away from this. Whatever needs to be said here, this conversation needs to be had. <clears throat> okay. It is very narcissistic. Yeah, if this person is doing this with you. So, you know, with them, <clears throat> when I was telling you earlier in this reading that this person may turn around and say they think that you are stuck on somebody else or you're breadcrumbing them, understand that also could be, because I do see you're going to be like, no, nah, I don't have a problem. I do feel like part of that is going to be a deflection. And that's something that narcs are good at if you're dealing with a narcissist, you know, you can't help them. So you might as well go on your date and try to have somebody new, new love. Okay, you got water sign showing up here too. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and earth sign. I know I shuffled these cards, but I guess they got stuck together. Doing your research, Virgo. Do your research. Find out some facts. Oh, okay. Somebody's getting a new pet or giving a current pet more love. That's sweet. But I feel like find out some, find out facts. Don't make emotional don't make decisions based on your emotions. Go for the facts. Look for the evidence. Because if you're going to come forward to somebody, you know, the best way to prove your point is with evidence, right? I mean, I don't want you to go in prosecuting somebody here, but I feel like you need to get, if, if you need to get closure with this, because there's a third party thing going on, um, prepare before you bring this conversation up. And then when it's time for you to move on, go. Okay. Now this could be, like I said, some of you, like, I feel like it's backwards. Like if this reading happened first and then yesterday's reading happened now, that I feel like I would say, end something with someone because you're not getting your needs met and then go for that new love. But some of you might be inspired in July because you meet somebody new who treats you so well. And some of you might just be like, oh, this is what it's supposed to feel like? Oh, hold on. Dang, hold on. This is new. Wait a minute. Let me just look back at this thing that I've been dealing with. Because that's not, that's not satisfying. <laughs> so you might get inspired. Because you get treated well. You get treated, like, you know, maybe some of you have been stuck in something for so long. It happens. You get kind of in a rut. And then you, you connect with another person. Or you take a break. Or you, you break up. Or a separation. And then you date somebody else who treats you, like, unbelievably. And you're like, whoa. What's happening here? This is like a far cry from what I've been dealing with. And now you've got a comparison. Some of you just don't even know what it's like to be loved well and properly hmm so there's a reason why these readings came out the way they did yesterday's new love situation today's past love situation all right let's move on i hope the message was clear and i'm not definitely like you know like i said i'm not telling you what to do but um 
If you already know what you need to do, then do it. But if you need to just kind of ruminate or think about this a little bit, right? Wait till July. Have that conversation. Don't rush into anything. But always, no matter what, do what's best for you. Okay. You have Scorpio here. Gemini. Cancer and Libra. Okay. So these could also be the people. The peoples involved. All right. All right. All right, all right. So we've got 1962. We've got age 43. Hey, August 31st, getting a lot of action lately. Someone's 56. September 18th. September 4th. August 25th. We've got 1990. Someone's 50. Um, oh, September 8th. September 11th. September 1st. Oh, look, 111. Nice. Um, July. All right, we've got the name Pa. It's Pa, Pa, or P-A, or someone's a P-A, Pa, significant in July. Opa, O-P-A, Opa, what's that mean? Opa, okay. Um, opal, oh, maybe that's somebody's name, Opal, or you like opals, or you're wearing an opal right now. Someone's 47, uh, 1984, 1967, 1976. Yeah, July, July, July. Very significant. It's July. And and July to December, <laughs> your life's about to change in major, in major ways. Now, you could also have uh, Leo Cancer or Sag Capricorn that you have a connection with here. All right, August 24th. Someone's 34. Okay, Beverly. I'm hearing Beverly. We have letter A, letter M, Ma and Pa. What's going on? We have the letter P. Someone's looking at a map. Um, we have the letter V. We have E. We have W. B, E, I. Okay, let's see. I know some of you guys are really good at seeing names. I don't know what it is. We have Pam. We have Wes or Wesley. Okay. We have Winnie. Winnie. They just gave me Winnie. Uh, David. David. Uh, Vicky. Veronica. Uh, v. V E E E. V. Wisconsin. Someone drives a Volkswagen. Okay. All right, if somebody likes veal, somebody eats veal. Okay, someone's name is Bo, B-O, Bo. Okay, we have Annie or Annabelle. Uh, something's going on with a lamp. A lamp, a lamp. Turning off a lamp, turning on a lamp. Just hearing lamp, Louisiana, getting Louisiana. Uh, did I say someone was looking at a map? Because I'm saying it again. Checking out a map of some sort. Okay. That's a bop. I just heard. That's a that's a bop. Whatever that means. That's a bop. Liam. Liam. Okay. Someone's in the Alps. Or been to the Alps. Okay. Um, beach. Someone's at a beach with a pail or getting a pail. Not a tan, a pail. Or someone's very pale at a beach. Has very, very pale skin. Okay. All right. That's all I'm getting for that. Let's get your charm. I'm not using the spoon. Oh, got some Christmas balls. All right. So we got a Scottish Terrier. How cute. Somebody has a Scottish Terrier. All right, little doggy, little doggy doggy. Christmas bells. So that's going to be significant. Could also be wedding bells in July. Significant for someone. Going to a wedding. Oh, you've got imagine. Okay. The words imagine. 
So somebody's got that somewhere written somewhere. Imagine. Could be that old, uh, remember that old song? Imagine all the people. That's a song. That's a theme song for 2024 with everything going on in the world. You know, these wars and all this stuff. Bring John Lennon and Yoko back. Can we get some peace? Can we get some peace, please? A little peace? That'd be nice. Well, that's an interesting charm. Okay, here's a pentacle for sure. Yeah, I'm going to actually steal this pentacle and put it on a chain and wear it. I love it. That's the earth Earth pentacle. There you go. Earth sign. You might have a pentacle. Somebody has a pentacle. There's an earth sign involved in this situation like we saw. Um, I just, for the life of me, it all I can tell you is it's a moon with a crown and a wing. So... I'm going to let you guys tell me your intuition. What do you think? Leave a comment. What does this resonate for you? I know you guys are intuitive. I know you're psychic. So help me out. I should do that. You know what? I might even do like a stream where I'm going to have you guys pull cards, give me readings. That would be fun, right? That would be fun. I think we might do that. I'll let you know when. Um, so yeah, leave me a comment in the chat or in the comment section. How this resonates? Does this resonate for you? What does this mean? What do you pick up with this? And you also have love. Love is definitely on tap for July. I'm not kidding. I felt that strong. Maybe I have this written somewhere. It could be somebody's last name or you live on Love Street. Yeah, let me know. I'm going to leave that there. I will see you guys back here tomorrow for your weekend reading. We'll see what the weekend energies are going to be playing out for friday june 28th through the 30th uh actually <coughs> through june 28th through july 1st yes because i'm not going to be here sunday okay so i'll see you guys back here monday evening after this weekend reading all right talk to you all later thanks months thanks everybody for joining i'll see you all back here tomorrow bye Yeah.